Something ain't right. Um, this mop is leaving residue. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. Genesis, what is happening right now? I'm, I'm mopping. Watch. Why would you use that dirty mop on my floor knowing I have a powerful mop in the house? Pay attention, boys. Now, would you look at that? Look at how clean it is compared to the spot that I did not mop. Beautiful. And who still uses the Medusa head mops anyway? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can ask, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Mrs. Jackson, please don't make this difficult for yourself. Mr. Brown, please don't make this difficult for you. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call security. You sure have been afraid to make a lot of decisions since we started this conversation, Mr. Brown. I need security to my office, please. <laughs> that does not scare me. Where are they at? Which way are they coming from so I can meet them halfway? Mr. Brown, is everything okay? Mrs. Jackson is having trouble accepting my decision to expel her son from the school. Ma'am, the decision is final. Right, and who are you? My name is Tamara. Tamara, okay. And which department do you work in? I'm his secretary. You're a secretary. Tamara, you don't get paid enough to handle a hostile parent like me. So return to your desk and remain unharmed. Excuse me? Yes, you may be excused. I'm calling security. Oh, could you? Because I have been waiting for the longest. I mean, do I even want my child at a school where it takes this long for security to get to the incident? Brown to any available security personnel. On second thoughts, this school does not seem like a safe place to have my child at. So, I'll go ahead and withdraw him. Mrs. Jackson, you cannot withdraw your son because he has been expelled from the school. Okay, we'll spell him back and then withdraw him. Hey, Auntie. I was wondering if it was possible to share a room with one of the boys. Is there something wrong with the couch upstairs? Oh, it's, it's just slightly uncomfortable, you know. Hurts my back sometimes. But, Auntie, I'm very much grateful and I don't mean to complain. No, it's fine. I know that couch can be quite uncomfortable. Kyrie still has his bunk beds in his room, so I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I thought that maybe me and Brian can share a room because we are the same age. But then again, I don't want to mess up what he has going on every other night. What does he have going on every night? Oh, his boyfriend? He sneaks in every other night. What fucking boyfriend? Oh, Auntie, I don't think I was supposed to tell you. I'm sorry. But please don't tell him I told you. That'll just make him hate me more. You know what? I think you and Brian sharing the room is a great idea. Brian! Mama, why do you be yelling? It is so unnecessary. You are not outside. You and Genesis will be sharing a room. The hell we are! Who the fuck are you talking to like that, Brian? I would knock your head off your shoulders! <sighs> Where is he going to sleep, Mama? Y'all are cousins, so you will share the bed. Uh, Kyrie has a bunk bed. It would make more sense for him to sleep in his room. I'm about to get rid of Kyrie's bunk bed and buy him a single bed. Now, like I said, you and Genesis will be sharing a room. Was there anything else? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. You tell me. You called me down here. Ryan, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. Go upstairs and make space for your new roommate. <sighs> okay, mama. From now on, you will be my eyes and my ears. Yes, ma'am.
Now I could have sworn I locked my doors. Brian let us in. Of course he did. Now let yourselves out. Mika. Genesis, go upstairs for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Auntie. Why are y'all here? Gabriella's death was devastating. I haven't had time to process it, you know? It happened so fast, and she wasn't my blood sister, but she was my sister. Like I said, everything happened so fast, and I just found out that, you know, she made you Genesis's legal guardian. So my question is, how long do you plan on keeping him? And what all does she put you in charge of? Why do you care? Your stepdaughter, you know, the one that just died and you didn't come to her funeral, she told me that if anything happened to her, that he was mine. So I'm keeping him forever. <sighs> That's fine. I don't care about all that. Where's the money she left for him? Mama, that is not why we are here. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. I knew that you or somebody else was going to come after that money. That money is in an account that only Genesis will have access to when he turns 18. Oh, I can tell that pissed you off. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> How's your cancer? She was my damn stepdaughter, so I'm gonna need some of that damn money. Tammy, Gabriella hasn't liked you since her father, your eighth husband, died of natural causes. Which is why she didn't leave Genesis with you and left him with me. Because she didn't trust your trifling ass to do the right thing with that money. Tamika, you out of all people should know I don't play by my money. Now that's $300,000 that you better go get for me. Or what? Damn it, Tamika. Don't make me do something that I'm going to regret. Do what you got to do, Tammy. But calm down. Don't upset that cancer. <sighs> Both of you, please stop. I need that money. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if anybody has actually asked you this. But what type of cancer do you have? A daughter named Tamika. Oh, oh. well, you're going to have it a long time because there is no amount of chemo in the world that can get rid of me. Tamika, I'll take Genesis off your hands. Tanya, shut up. And what are you even doing here? What you going to do with a 17 year old boy? I already have one, so I know what I'm doing. Genesis is fine, and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Let me have him. Why? What you gonna do with him? Tell me why. Exactly. Shut up. Give me my child. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what in the Talapuri is going on? You remember when you didn't see me for nine months? I wasn't ready to be a mother. And Gabriella, she couldn't get pregnant. She had a family, husband. So I let her have him. Hmm. Well, you made the right choice giving him up because you clearly are not fit to be anyone's mother. And Genesis is 17. So 17 years ago when you had him, that was around the time that you slept with my ex-husband. Tanya, if I found out that you and my ex-husband have a child together, you will cease to exist. I just want my son. You ain't getting a damn thing. You will have to take me to court. And even then, you don't stand a chance, bitch. And you, you ain't getting no damn money. It ain't up to you. Oh, but it is. I'm his legal guardian. And I think both of you are starting to forget that. Don't shit move with him unless I say so. I ain't got to do shit. He's mine. Mine. Well, I'm his mother. Spell it. Go spell it. 
mother, M-O-T-H-O-R. <clears throat> Get out. Tamika, this isn't over. I'm coming for my child. Spell it. Child. C-H-I-L-E-D. <laughs> this is great. I want you to act just like this in court. Dumb. Tell you bring your dumb ass. Tamika, this isn't over. Y'all should really call before y'all come next time. All right, boys, I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All A's as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Oh, yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed with flying colors, though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments, Aunt Tamika? Mrs. Jackson. Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommended to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class, and yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm, great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie, there are no scores. It, there's a comment though, it says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me, I wanna drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in. Yes, mama, I want to be just like Savon. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me.
Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. So there was an altercation between the two of you that apparently... Vanessa, who exactly told you that you were in charge of this conversation in my house? Does it matter who opens the discussion, Tamika? I invited you and your daughter into my home to discuss this matter between her and Savon. So let's discuss. I am not ready to speak yet. I am still collecting my thoughts. So shut up. Girl, not you still holding on to that little tussle we got into three years ago. Little tussle. Beloved. I injured you. You went to the ER for that neck. That neck that still looks stiff today. Okay. How about you let bygones be bygones? Do I look like I'm the type of bitch to let a bye be gone? Ma, y'all forgetting why we're here. You know what? I was trying to come here and not automatically point the finger. But since you want to be ignorant, you want to tell me why your son put his hands on my daughter? Miss Vanessa, that's not what happened. That is how it happened, Savon. How did I end up from one side of the room to the other? How did I end up with a busted lip? I need to know why it happened, Savon. No, what I need to know is why from the both of you. What started this? Go ahead and tell them. It doesn't matter what started it. Savon, you put your hands on my daughter. Your daughter put her hands on my son. She was defending herself. He was defending himself. Versace, did he hit you first? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. She knocked my phone out of my hand and then she choked me, Mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Mama, I wouldn't lie to you. He hit me, so I hit him back. Describe how he hit you and how it made you fly across the room. You know what? I do not like the way you are questioning my daughter right now, Tanika. Oh, I don't give a fuck. How did he make you fly across the room, Versace? By him hitting me. No man should hit a woman, Tamika. No woman should hit a man. Except he hit me first. No, I didn't. I wouldn't give you my phone. And what was on the phone, Savon? None of your business. Who swung first? She did. He did. Savon, my daughter would not lie to me. Vanessa, you finna piss me off. Versace has faked pregnancies, DNA tests, and eyelashes. Okay, and your son is no damn better. He ain't the worst either. You know what? How could you as a black woman stand there with a black son and tell me and my black daughter that her assault does not matter? Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that black shit. This ain't no BET movie, bitch. Start from the beginning, Versace. He was on his phone texting, and I knew it was another bitch, so I asked for his phone. Okay. Savon, what did you do when she asked for your phone? I ignored her. Oh. 
Then I must have pissed you off, Versace, because how dare he? Right, because I knew he heard me the first time when I asked. So, uh, what happened next? I asked for it again and he got mad. And then what did he do? He put his hands on me. You lying bitch. Savon, you better watch your damn mouth. Vanessa, I will eat you up right now. Well, bon appetit, bitch. Ma! Ma! Versace press charges. I'm good. Um, I think Savon learned his lesson. Hmm, very safe decision, Versace. Press charges, Savon. I'm I'm actually good, Mama. Okay. I'm leaving. So y'all wanna fuck each other up, make it everybody else's problem, and then get back together? It's very much toxic behavior and I don't have time for it. Get it the fuck away from me. Shit, and me. You wanna grab a drink? I guess not. All right, baby, my mama's on the way over here. Travis, are you sure it's not too soon to be meeting your mom? I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily have a, a good track history from, you know, meeting moms. Oh, baby, it'll be fine. Yeah, but did you tell your mom about our age difference? No, I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to meet you and form her own judgment. See, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because if she does decide to judge, then I'm gonna decide to react. And it won't be good for either one of us. Oh, baby, my mama would love you to show her that you're a respectful woman and you're polite. I'm not any of that. I need you to be that today because that's what I told her you were. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Tamika. Tamika, this is my mom, Ida. <clears throat> It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, you're such a nervous little thing. It's okay. Calm down, honey. When did you meet my son? Oh, we, we met two months ago. Uh, two months ago, and he's already living with you and paying all the bills? By choice, he is. I, I didn't ask him to do that. This is a very large house for just two people. Do you have any children? I do. I, I have three. Three? Three. Oh, Travis, you missed that major detail. I didn't think it was that important. How old are these children? Oh, they, they grown, mama. Define grown. And exactly how old is your girlfriend, Travis? The boys are 19, 17, and uh, 16. Oh, that's interesting. How old are you, Tamale? Who's Tamale? Oh, is that not your name? It's Tamika. What did I say? You said Tamale. Then that's what it is. How old are you? I'm 40. 40? Travis, what are you doing with this older woman? You do know my son is 35 years young with no children. Older woman? He has no business being with you. Do your children have the same father or different dads? I was married to their father. You were married. What happened? Mom, with all due respect, that's none of your business. 
That's personal. Oh, it's fine, Travis. It's fine. <laughs> he cheated on me and decided to unmarry me and marry her. Well, what did you do wrong? You clearly did something wrong for him to cheat on you. Mom, I need you to stop being disrespectful right now. Fine. How are your sons adjusting to my son? They're adjusting. You know what? That, that's great. That's great. Travis, he likes fixing things. You know, he. I've seen him fix several women that were older than him, such as yourself. You know, women that were broken. Broken? Am I broken, Travis? I never said that. Ma, I never said that. You didn't have to. She's 40, divorced with three kids. I mean, it's the perfect project for you, Pro Travis. Project. Ma, that is not true. He will fix you, build you up, whatever you want to call it, and then he'll move on to the next broken woman for his project. Oh, Travis, don't spare her feelings. She can handle it. I mean, she's mature and old enough to handle it. Let me tell you something, bitch. Well, wait a minute now, don't call me a bitch. Bitch! Your son does 360s and my coochie. That is one of the reasons I allow him to stay here. Oh, does he? Your son has spent a great amount of money on me and my three kids. Another reason I allow him to stay here. Oh, has he? So I ain't nobody's fucking project. I met him at Walmart and he was flirting hard. And you know what? A bitch can get lonely at times. So I decided, I decided to let him entertain me. Is that so? It is. So when I get tired of looking at him, then he can move on to another woman. But he will only move on if I say so. Now, did you have any other questions for me, Idaho? I'm sorry, who is Idaho? Is that not your name? No, it's Ida. Well, what did I say? You said Idaho. Then that's what it is. Travis, as you are escorting your mother out of my house, Please let her know that I wasn't as disrespectful as I could have been. And I want her to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to enjoy watching my son leave you in pieces. I'm the type of bitch that does not like to ask twice for somebody to leave my house. Travis? Come on, Ma. It was nice meeting you. Travis, I need you and the boys to click. And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys! Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking y'all to Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, mother, we simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. <sighs> hey, baby. It's okay. They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. 
get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't even worry about it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells that's you. That's what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. No okay. game. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> And for the record, I will never choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay, because what did everything was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter. But I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. All three of y'all. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer, but I know that we're all in this with you and we're going to get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Oh, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to Mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And, of course, he couldn't share anything because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that Mama had lumps and they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. 
You went to mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? Tamika, mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama. And here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, Mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button... I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Benign is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it. Prove that you have cancer. <gasps> Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake ass cancer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mama is full of shit. And y'all know that. When I drop dead, I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child. I can't remember the last time I seen all my children in one room. None of you even bother to answer the phone when I call. Answer the phone for what? All you do is ask for money. Or a ride when you have your own car but don't want to waste your gas but want to waste everybody else's gas. Hey, not too much on my mama. Not too much on the underaged females, Tommy. Or your nieces. Tell me, why are we here? I am dealing with a lot right now and I don't have time to sit here and listen to your kids argue. Your kids? So you're above us, Tamika? Terry, shut up! I am above this. And you know I'm the wrong sister to be trying to argue with. I will air your shit the fuck out. Again, Tammy, why are we here? 
When did I become Tanny? That's your name, isn't it? What do you have going on that is more important than what I'm about to say? You see, I have kids that I'm actually a mother to. And right now I'm dealing with their poor decisions in life. But I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. I just prefer not to deal with you or your bullshit. Mika, what happened now? <laughs> Brian got a girl pregnant. Brian? I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, I thought he was the gay one. He is. You know who else is gay? Your twin boys. Who also think that they're Disney princesses. I get it. You're a single mother who is divorced, has no man, can't get a man, because you're always angry and bitter. I'm married, happy, and I understand. Your wife weighs approximately 600 pounds. God almighty. You have to put bricks under y'all's bed because of her oversized back. The last time you slept with her, she tried to climb on top of you and sent you to the emergency room for broken ribs and a crushed lung. Are you still having trouble breathing? Fuck. The only person I shared that with is you, Tara, so clearly you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. How's Tarika? Did she ever find out who her baby daddy was? Tarika, I told you that in confidence. Right, you did. And he made me share it publicly. See, my nephew got him somebody pregnant. I knew he liked him some coochie. I'm proud of him. Mama, why are we here? Ah, it's been a minute since we argued. I feel like starting some shit. Tanya, tell Tamika that you slept with her ex-husband. Tanya! You slept with Michael? Tamika, no. I would never do that to you. He slept with me well after y'all's divorce. And I told him that he was wrong for that. Like, how could you sleep with your ex-wife's sister? Tanya, how could you? He slept with me. It's the same thing, you bitch. No, it's not. He came to me. You could have said no, Tanya. It's not in my vocabulary. I love men. I am a whore. And I get it from my mama. You like this shit, don't you? Seeing us argue and be against each other, you like that. Y'all have been arguing since y'all was kids, and I am tired of trying to stop it. So when y'all are ready to hear what I have to say, let me know. Tanya, you are insane. You want to know what's insane, Terry? Your wife being banned from every buffet in the state of Texas because she decided to wipe one out in Houston. I mean, she cleared out the entire restaurant and then had the audacity to ask the employees to fill up more food trays. I mean, bitch, how about you throw some of it back up? Fuck. Another thing I shared with only you, Tara. You did. And it's my fault for thinking that I could share your business with our sisters in confidence. I won't do it again. Y'all keep going. I love the abuse. Shut up, Tommy. You are literally the youngest and the dumbest. And mama's favorite. Mama, don't forget that Tara and Tamika slept with your ex-husband, Earl. Did you know that Earl was your real daddy and told mama to get rid of you when she found out she was pregnant with you? You look lost. She never told you that Earl was your real daddy? No? Oh, Tamika. What are you talking about? We all have the same daddy. You sound crazy. Our father died before your ass was conceived. Mama, she's lying. Tell her. Tell her she's lying. Oh, Tammy, you look hurt. Go ahead and tell him that the man that you accused me of Tara sleeping with was his real daddy. And also tell him that he never claimed him or loved him. You know what, Tamika? You are your mother's daughter. Whether you want to accept it or not, you and me are just the same. I have stage three cancer. I do hope that little information brings y'all all together. Have a good day.
All right, Ma. This is my Christmas list for this year. Now, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But, well, damn. And did you fall and hit your head on something? Because what type of year have you had, Kyrie? <laughs> Ma, I'll be chilling. You're the one who'll be tripping. Your grades are trash. Your mouth is reckless. And your behavior is... Top tier. Out of control. Period. Period what, Brian? I'm just saying, Mama's right. You do have a bad attitude, Kyrie. Oh, watch this. Mama, did you ever meet that boy he be sneaking in the house? What the entire fuck? Watch your damn mouth, Brian. Ma. Did you forget that you told Brian to bring that boy and his parents over so you can tell them that their son has been sneaking in your house, messing around with your son? Ma, focus on him. He is trying to change the topic. And that situation is far from over. I haven't forgotten. But I'll deal with that later. You ain't getting shit for Christmas, but a damn Merry Christmas and maybe a Christmas dinner. You know what, Mama? You sure do judge me a lot. You call it judging. I call it parenting. Mm. What about moral compass? What about it? You clearly don't have it. Neither do you. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I'm talking about Genesis and his biological mother. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Really, mama? Really? Really, mama? You know what? I am protecting his feelings. And how the hell did you find out about that, Kyrie? Come on, mama. You and your sisters don't know how to use y'all's inside voices. I'm sure the neighbors heard y'all arguing about it, too. So Genesis was adopted? Mm, not quite. Shut up, Kyrie. When you tape that paper back up that I gave you, that you crumbled up, then I might let my top lip meet my bottom. Oh, hey. I am not your brothers. I am your mama. You will not blackmail me. I will hurt you. Yes, that is very true. But the way I'm about to sing, a canary is no match for me. I'm about to run my mouth like water if you do not comply. Kyrie, who do you think I am? That holding shit over people's head? That don't work on me? I am your mother. I have kept you alive for 16 years, and I will take you out. Uh, Mama, come on. You ain't got to get all inspirational on me. Just give me what I asked for Christmas, and we'll be okay. Your secret will be safe with me. I ain't giving you a damn thing, little boy. You're out of your simple-ass mind. Hmm. I wonder what state of mind Aunt Tanya was in when she decided to give Genesis up to Aunt Gabriella. Oh, wait a damn minute. Wait a... Oh, my God. Brian... I know how you feel about that boy, but you would not say a damn thing to that boy or I will. Let me see my new boyfriend in peace. Is is that what you'll do? Oh, y'all both got me fucked up. What, what do I look like? Am I not y'all's mama? I am not one of y'all. Y'all not finna handle me like that. I'm just saying, if that information were to get out from me and Kyrie, I think that boy would need a lifetime of therapy. Uh, yes, I agree. And he just lost his mother which is not his real mother he's gonna be fucked up for life but if you told him when you thought he was ready then i think he'll be okay you see i think that is your information to tell not ours i guess what i'm trying to say is we will not tell genesis anything if you keep us happy this little gang y'all want to play with me will not end well for either one of you. Uh, well, it sounds like it doesn't end well for Genesis either. But it does not have to be that way, Mama. Put your pride aside and give us what we want. Let me remind y'all that I gave birth to both of y'all with no pain medication. I am your creator. Challenging me would be very dangerous. All these little tricks and shit, y'all be playing against each other. I taught y'all that. So are y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are you? Okay. As much as I can shut this down right now, I'm not ready to tell that boy this secret. So I'll play along. 
Kyrie, go ahead and write me up another Christmas list. And Brian, do not have that boy in my house while I am here. When I am gone, then you can sneak him over. I hope y'all are prepared for what happens when all of this is over. Because eventually, I will tell him. And after I do, I'm coming for both of y'all. Hard. Because y'all got me fucked up. So I hope y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Kyrie, I think we fucked up. Stop being a little bitch, Brian. Fuck. Find me a pen. Travis, can I have a moment with my sister, please? No, you cannot have a moment in my house. You are just a guest who pays bills. You don't own shit. Travis, give us a moment. You need to start putting him in his place. Tara, don't come in my house telling me what to do with my man. <laughs> my man. Well, you never really had one, so try real hard not to lose this one. Like the several men you have lost to your teenage daughter. Oh my God, please stop. Both of you. So Tanya told me about Genesis. She has a right to be in her son's life. Tara, stop acting stupid. Tanya is a whore. She is not fit to be anybody's mother. Wow. Wow. Genesis is 17, Tanya. You gave him up 17 years ago. And during that time, you did not reach out to him. Now that he's borderline 18 years of age, you want to be a part of his life? Bitch, you have missed half of it. He had a mother who passed away. And I don't feel right about my older sister stepping in. I feel like it is my responsibility to step in. Tara, tell her. <laughs> I already shut you down in front of your mama. I don't know what you thought bringing your sister here was going to do. Okay, granted. Genesis is damn near grown. But what you don't know, Tamika, is that one of Gabriella's dying wishes was for him to know who his biological mother was. Oh, she didn't make that damn bullshit ass dying wish. Shut up, Tara. Yes, she did. And you need to honor it. I ain't got to honor a motherfucker. I am going to try to explain this to both you dumb, oblivious ass bitches the best way I can. I'm dumb, but I have my high school diploma, a college degree, and I'm a lawyer. You have a GED, three kids, and a nine to five. And a man who wants me and not my children. Tara, your daughter just gave birth to your granddaughter slash stepdaughter that she had with your fiance. He is not the father. Great. He still slept with her. She was lying. That is the same exact shit mama said about us with Earl. Baby, is everything all right? Can you get out, please? Don't yell at my man because you just figured out that you're a horrible mother, Tara. My man, my man. Damn, at least act like you've had one before, Tamika. But you're a mom who had to use her daughter to keep a man. Tamika, that is enough. You are hitting below the belt. And I don't think I'm hitting low enough. Genesis just lost the only mother that he knew, and he is still grieving. Do you think it's a good idea to tell him that the mother that he just lost was not his real mother? If you gave an ounce of fuck about Genesis, you would let him heal and then we can revisit this conversation at a later date. Fine. Find my ass because you now have two bridges to cross. Telling Genesis that you're his biological mother and then telling my ex-husband that he might be the biological father. We will never be the same after this conversation. Tara, you're a bad mom. Start listening to your daughter when she says that your boyfriends are sleeping with her. Oh, you ignorant bitch. I cannot stand you. Then hop over this counter and whoop my ass. An impossible task to accomplish. Get the fuck out of my house, both of you. Mother, don't 
ra đi thấu It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma. I don't even use condoms. Savan, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis' room. First of all, mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? Cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson. That mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting to your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you'd be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savannah, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me. Okay. Kyrie! Who oh, are you not got Tupac in my butt? Do I? Don't need no clock got Tupac in my butt. I need you to do something Tupac, for me. Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. How many times I'ma have to park it up, pay your crib a visit? Too many times niggas gon' block they lights, just play that for a ring. Glass is tinted. I got them panicking. I need my money as well. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave?
Say you're the only one around here who can have a man. This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life. He give you good dick. Why would you leave? Why would you leave? Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was going to send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What, would I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them were cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I got you. Now, boys. I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he gotta go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis, and this is my house, and I want him in my house. I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy, and Travis makes me happy. Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid. You are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled, or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework Something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Curry. Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Oh my God, Tamika, your son is talking about he has stuff to do and I have to go to work. Can you please watch the baby for a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. You look stressed, what's wrong? Nothing. No, something is wrong because any other time if I asked you to watch the baby, you would have been like, do I look like Stevon to you? Girl, what is wrong? My mama allegedly has cancer. I'm just doing some research on it. Don't. I hope she... Versace dies. Oh, my God. Holy Father, I rebuke that chemotherapy in your name. I come to you today and ask you to block it from healing her body. Do not let the devil win. Get out! You know what?
know she lying anyway, Tamika. She probably got something up her sleeve or wants some attention or some money. I'll be back in an hour to get the baby. Ma, this is Nia, and I tried. Shh, shh, shh. I got this. Ma, this is a little girl that Brian got pregnant. Wait, am I really meeting Savan's mom? Ah, you gave birth to him? I'm your daughter-in-law. It is an honor to finally meet you. I'm carrying Brian's baby, but in my head, it's Savon's baby. Brian, I'm pretty sure that I was very much clear when I said that I wanted this taken care of. So why is it not taken care of? And why is it in my kitchen speaking to me? Ma, I tried. But I can't tell a girl what to do with her body. Y'all are just going to have to get over it. All my friends are pregnant, and it's my turn, and I'm already showing. How far along are you? Three months. Mm. Yeah, something's not quite right. Brian, when did you meet this little girl? Four weeks ago. The timeline is not timelining. For you to be my smartest child and have a four-year scholarship to Harvard, I am disappointed that you have you have forgotten how to fucking calculate. Oh Lord, I know my child is not turning slow. You said you had sex with her four weeks ago? Yes, ma'am. Okay, stay with me. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. You said four weeks ago. So then this little bitch should only be one month pregnant, right? Right. But she just said that she's an additional two months on top of that one month. You tracking? No. Brian, wake the fuck up. You found this girl four weeks ago, and she is sitting here saying that she is three months pregnant. She's trying to say that I was already pregnant around the time we met Brian. Oh. Oh. <sighs> About damn time. Shit. So you a ho-ho. I feel disgusted that even touched you. Oh, my God. Yep, it's not your baby, but I'm making you and Savon responsible for it because you're the last person I messed with. And he's the last person I fantasized about. Little girl, get your ass out of my house before I go get a belt and whoop you my damn self. Bye, Savon. Oh, Mama, that is a relief. I, I'm, oh, I'm so relieved. <sighs> Get your ass out of my kitchen and go learn your damn timetables again. Once again, bitch, just relax. Bitches won't be this, cause I always, always that. Niggas say they rich, let's keep it a stack. I ain't with the tick, I be moving tack. Bitches say they it, all that shit is cat. Wanna be with this, she was never. We gon' go with this, cause they was never. Want a piece of this, cause you ain't getting it. Bitch, just relax. I came here just to uck up the party. Feel like Slick Rick, Lottie uh, Dottie. Fuck up the scene. Play. What did you say your name was again? Nia. Nia. I'm Savon.
Oh, I know exactly who you are. I've been trying to sleep with you ever since my freshman year in high school, but I guess Versace beat me to it. Did you happen to take a pregnancy test? <laughs> I took one. Oh, yeah, I want the result. Um, well, my mama took me to the clinic, and um, it looks like I'm still much pregnant. Get rid of it. Excuse me? Brian is not ready to be a father. That's too bad that it's not my problem, that he's not ready to take responsibility for what he did. So, yeah, my body, my choice. Nia, my mom will kill me and you. And Brian, you wouldn't even have to claim it. I was really trying to get to Savan, but I took you because, I mean, you really do look just like him. The only reason why I slept with you is because I can't sleep with Savan. But to know that this baby is related to Savan, it makes me very happy. But you can deny it. I just need Savan to claim it. Delusional. You can't keep it. Are you a man telling me, a woman, what to do with my body? Yes. I'm not interested in being a teenage father. I don't care. I don't care. I'm keeping this baby, and you're going to have to deal with me and the baby, gay and all. Okay, listen. How old are you? You know how old I am, Savine. 16. I haven't loved you since I was 14. See, you ain't ready to be a mom. You have your whole life ahead of you. You care about my life? That's inspiring and all. My mama mama supports me being 16 and pregnant. And we already picking our baby names. So, it's a done deal. I got a support system. I'm good. All I need is you. Savon, you said handle it. I'm trying to handle it. But it doesn't look like I'm handling it. So, Versace, how is Savon in bed? I'm going to offer you some advice. You are still a child. And should not be bringing a child into this world. This is coming from a bitch who was also 16 and pregnant. Okay, Brian, I tried. I'm not going to jail for putting my hands on this little ass girl. Good luck with your baby. Anyways, Savannah, you want to help me decorate the nursery? For what? For our baby. I'm sorry. Me and Brian's baby. You know what? I gotta go. I have errands to run. So, y'all keep in touch.